as we sitting there kicking it, you know, I realized, I, I soon realized that this was the plot. You feel me? His plot was to get me alone and disrespect me some more. You know what I'm saying? What's moving, everybody? Hey, so look, check it out, right? Has your mama ever had a friend, your mama or your daddy, had they ever had a friend and they friend had kids and they tried to make you get along with they, they friend's kids? Because... <laughs> This one of them stories, you know what I'm saying? Hey, but look, before we jump into the story, man, y'all like, share, subscribe if you new here. And if you been here, hey, man, I love you for life, you feel me? I appreciate the comments, the likes, the subscribers, the the y'all listening to my music, everything, you feel me? Y'all the real ones, straight up. But look, we gonna dive straight into the video. Y'all see the caption of this video. It's really a kind of crazy video, you know what I'm saying? But um, we were kids at the time, right? And my mama, she had this friend that was in, I think he was a police officer, right? So uh, he was a police officer for Fulton County, or he was an FBI officer or something like that. I don't know, but he had a lot of artillery in his room. I remember that. You feel me? And he lived a wild life. You know what I'm saying? But um, she had a friend, and this is when we were staying off Kendall Road in Decatur. A apartment called the Park, right next to a CVS. You know what I'm saying? It was it was it was a it was a slick hood for sure, but <laughs> uh, it was some nice apartments though. Don't get me wrong. At least for back then, you feel me? But uh, she had this friend that was like an FBI agent, and her friend had a little brother. Wasn't his son? You know, her, cause the friend he was like a bachelor. You know what I'm saying? He was just out here living free. He had a girlfriend, you know, but he wasn't trying to get married. You know what I'm saying? He was just out here living free. So um, his brother came to stay with him. His brother just so happened to be around my age, maybe a little older than me. I was in like fifth grade. So that's what, like 10, 11 or something like that. So he had to be like 12, 13 or something, you know? So uh, he had a, he had, he, his, they mama, made they brother go stay with him you feel me mind you my mama friend he was like 25 27 or something like that i don't know he was older you know what i mean so um the mama i guess they mama didn't really have like a good thing going on in her life you know she was she was from this house to that house or whatever she felt like the little boy would have did better at, her, at his brother house, his older brother house. So she sent them over there to his brother house. Now, mind you, we stay right up upstairs. You know what I'm saying? They stay downstairs. We stay upstairs. You feel me? This my mama partner. You know, so when they went out and when they went out to party or when they went out with other friends and stuff like that, I would have to go downstairs to their house or he would come upstairs to my house and we basically had to get along. Now... What my mama didn't tell me at the time was this little boy was bipolar. <laughs> you feel me? So he used to have little issues, and I never knew why until it all ended. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it was it's a crazy ending. But listen though, um, one day, uh, my mama she wanted us to hang out because you know they was doing their thing or whatever. So I took him around the complex and I took him to some of my friends' houses and. Things like that. So we got to one of my best friend houses named Brandon. We still cool to this day, right? And um, I don't know if Buddy was was trying to act weird because you know me and Brandon was real cool. You know, you know how you got a friend that's jealous of another friend or something like that. But mind you, I'm not even that cool with this uh, little boy yet. You feel me? Like my mama is basically making me drag him around with me, making me hang with him and all that you feel me he like a year or two older than me you know what i'm saying like i had no interest in being a guy. i don't know his people i don't know his friends i don't know what school he go to i don't know none of that you feel me? my mama just kind of pushed me in this situation <laughs> because you know uh my mama and his older brother hanging so uh i take him around my my friend brandon house and we kicking it we playing video games and all that you know what i'm saying grand theft auto and all that and um but he just started tweaking. You feel me? He just started acting real rude to uh to my boy. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, like calling him little stuff up under his breath and just saying little weird stuff. You feel me? So, um, then when I started noticing, like, hey, something wrong with him, man. You feel me? But mind you, my mama and his brother ain't nowhere to be found right now. Y'all know how it was back in the day. Like, one no cell phones, one none of that. You feel me? If your folks leave, you got to wait till they call you on the landline or <laughs> or you just wait till them, them folk come back home. You feel me? Wasn't no texting or nothing like that. You feel me? Nigga, I ain't had no two-way. You feel me? So, um, we trying to thug it out. You know what I'm saying? Buddy just just tweaking. You feel me? And it, and it seemed like as the day progressed, the tweet got even heavier. You know what I'm saying? He started tweaking even harder. You know what I mean? Because as he was acting weirder, you know, me and Brandon started teaming up a little more. Like, like, all right, buddy acting weird. Like, like, let's, let's not, you know, like, let's kind of distance ourselves. Mind you, we still are hanging. We are still going outside and playing. We doing this. We doing that. But, you know, we doing, me and Brandon more so doing stuff, you know, together versus just with all three of us. You know, because he started tweaking. Like, the boy started calling Brandon out his name, started saying little weird stuff. You know, act like he was trying to hurt somebody and all that like that. You feel me? And we, we just want to play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't for all that extra stuff. So, um. When it when that thing hit the fan, right? Uh we had went back all of us had walked back to Brandon House and um I remember we was on the steps and we were chopping it up and I'm like, what he might have said something crazy. And I'm like, bro, what's up with you, bro? Like like what's your problem? You feel me? And buddy snapped on me. Like he snapped on me, you feel me? He like, man, Y'all got me out here, and y'all ain't even paying me no attention. That's why your mama this, your mama that. He started just talking about my mama. You know what I'm saying? Like, personal stuff about my mama. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nothing that he could have possibly really knew, you know, as a child. You know, but y'all know how it be when y'all go at it with, um, you know, a, a younger person or, you know, somebody in your age group. You feel me? It's like no, no feelings, no... No holding back, no none of that. Whatever they done heard about your people, whatever they done felt like they seen, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? They it's nothing off limits. So he started just going crazy, you know what I mean? So um it made me mad. Like it it really pissed me off. Like I was I was I was on the steps tripping now, cause I'm like, bro, like, like you deserve to get smacked in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? So before I did anything, I called my mama, right? And I went, I went in Brandon house, you know, uh, I used this phone. I don't know how I got in touch with my mama. You know, I don't know what number I called, you know, I don't, I don't know. I must've knew where they was at or something, or they must've got back to the house or something like that. But I called my mama, right? And I'm telling my mama, I'm like, listen, um, this boy over here tripping. You feel me? Like we finna get the fame. And, <laughs> and she like, nah, don't fight him. Don't fight him. You know, he ain't. He ain't like that, you know what I'm saying? He just got little issues. And I'm like, well, what issues he got? Because he over here saying this, this, and that about you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And my, and my mom was talking about some, what? He said that? <laughs> Straight up. And she like, man, look, if he say anything else, you know, I don't advise you, you know, hitting him. But, you know, if he go hard like that again, you know, just set him straight. So I'm like, all right, whatever that means, you know, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it in my hands. You feel me? Like you, that's the green light basically for me. You know what I'm saying? So I hang up the phone, and uh, I go back outside, and um, I'm like, I'm like, all right, bro. Um, my mama just gave me the green light. You feel me? So if you say anything else about her, I'm gonna slap you. You know what I'm saying? Or or whatever I'm gonna do to you. You know what I'm saying? So I promise you, I don't know if I don't know if if his if his trip meter had done went down by the time I, I went in there and got on the phone and came back, but he ain't want no smoke. You feel me? Like he I mean he had an attitude, don't get me wrong, he had an attitude the whole time, but it was like he was trying to suppress it. You feel me? I'm not knowing buddy really having issues. So uh we left my partner house, my partner Brandon house. We left and we went back to the spot. Now, mind you, my mama said she going to be home in about an hour, 30 minutes or something like that. You feel me? I still don't even know how 
how I spoke to her, like where the number came from or none of that. You feel me? But, you know, it was perfect timing. So uh, we went back to the spot. We just so happened to go to his to his big brother house. We didn't go upstairs to my house. We went downstairs to their house. So as we sitting there kicking it, you know, I realized, I, I soon realized that this was the plot. You feel me? His plot was to get me alone and disrespect me some more. You know what I'm saying? So we got downstairs to the apartment, you know, I'm by myself, you know, I, I, w I refused to kick it in the same room as he was kicking it in, you know what I'm saying? I went to the back room, when he came to the back room, I went to the living room, you know, and all the while, he's saying little smart stuff to me, bro, you know what I mean? And I wasn't, I wasn't trying to trip or nothing like that, and then, he might have said, yeah, that's why your grandma did. And something like that, like, he just really started talking crazy about my grandma, knowing she was gone, you feel me? Or or something like that, you feel me? Or no, he was he was, he was wishing that my grandma had died, because that, that was right before she died type situation, you feel me? So, he was just wishing death on my grandma and just saying a whole bunch of weird stuff that he knew was going to entice me, you feel me? So, at that point, I got up. I'm like, man, forget it. You know, at at this point, I done held back so much. Y'all ever, <laughs> when y'all young, like fourth, fifth grade, third grade, or something like that, you get so mad, tears start coming down your eyes, <laughs> and you, <sighs> you know what I'm saying? You power up. I powered up on that man. You feel me? I powered up, swung on him, connected. You feel me? And he ran. This man ran, and I'm like, yeah. You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I got off. You know what I'm saying? Man, tell me why this man ran to his brother room. Remember I told y'all his brother was like an FBI agent or something. He ran to his brother room, bro. And his brother, I never knew this until this happened. His brother had a lot of guns hanging up on the wall, you know, in the dresser drawers and all type of stuff. Man, when I tell you this little boy picked up the biggest gun off the wall, it was like an AR or something. He picked up the biggest gun. And ran in the room that I was at and pointed it at me. Put it straight in my face. You know what I'm saying? So now at this point, I'm literally on the couch like, like, whoa, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know what to say, what to do. This is literally the first time this is, has ever happened to me in my life. You know what I mean? Like, from what I can remember. Because when I got older, it happened to me also. But this was the first time I had such a big gun in my face you know so i'm i'm back like this like like trying to talk him out of you feel me because he crying he's crying while he's holding this big old rifle in my face mind you the gun is like this close <laughs> you know what i'm saying so all i remember thinking or all i remember doing was swatting it out of his hand it didn't fall and then i squatted it and i ran in the bathroom you know what i'm saying the bathroom was literally right here it was I could put I could put my arm out and touch the bathroom door. That's how close it was to the couch. So I swatted the gun and ran in the bathroom. When I ran in the bathroom, um, he just started hitting the door. Like he was trying to get up out get in the in the bathroom door. You feel me? Like and he hit it, ended up breaking the door down or breaking the door open. You feel me? Cause we it was it was like the hood. Them them doors ain't really just that strong. You feel me? So he hit the door and ended up Breaking it open. And mind you, I always been small. So me standing in front of the door wasn't going to do too much. Like this, he, this boy done reached his growth spurt and some more stuff. You know what I'm saying? He was bigger than me. <laughs> so so he got in the room. He got in the bathroom with the gun. But it was too big to just, you know, get in and just wave it around in my face again. So... As soon as I seen him brushing in from the back, like 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 he bump he he bumping in the door, and he kind of walked backwards to get it in. You feel me? To get in the in the door. So as I see him walking backwards to get in, I grabbed the gun. Now we wrestling. We man, we some 10, 11, 12, 13 year olds in the bathroom wrestling for an AR, bro. The craziest thing, bro. Straight up. So we in, we in there wrestling for the gun. I'm trying to... I don't even want the gun. You feel me? I'm just... 
I don't want to get shot though. You know what I mean? That was my whole thing. You feel me? If this look, if this big old gun shoot my little body, it's over with. I know it's over with. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was always little. You know? So uh we wrestling for the gun, you know, and something snapped again. You know, I don't know what it was at the time, but something snapped. And he just started, he was already crying, but he started crying in a different way. Like he started crying like like, he was sad about what was going on. You feel me? And, you know, as we holding the gun, I'm like, bro, you tripping. You feel me? I'm telling him, like, you tripping. And he just started crying, like, regrettably, saying, I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, he just started saying sorry and all that. I'm like, bro, what's wrong with you, my Like, what you got going on? You feel me? And he was like, man, I I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you, you, you pissed me off because... You was playing with him too much and and all this and all his feelings just start coming out. You know what I'm saying? Like just randomly. You know? So um man I, I talked him into putting the gun back. You know, we still on the on the floor of the bathroom holding I'm holding one half, he holding the other half. Or one side, he holding the other side, you know, pointed away from us. I talked him into putting the the gun back and as he's getting up to put the gun back. The door open, the the front door open. You know, we hear the door open. So he ran back in there and hurried up and put it up before anybody could see what what happened. And I ain't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? We was all in up. Our clothes was ruffled up. You know what I'm saying? Our eyes was red. You know what I mean? My mama and his brother walking in there. They just came from happy hour or whatever they had going on. You know what I'm saying? They had a good time. So immediately, I'm I'm just like, man, I'm out. You feel me? I I went upstairs with my mama. You know, she she basically came and got me. We went upstairs, and I don't think I told her about that story until a week later. You feel me? I sat her down. And I'm like, listen, because I think she tried to make me go play with him again. And I was like, nah, listen, bro. This this and this happened. You know what I'm saying? And she was and she was very apologetic. You know what I mean? She was hard. Don't get me wrong. She was real hard. You know, she was just more so glad that nothing went down and it was over with. You feel me? But she was like, yeah, you ain't got to play with him no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even sure if I'm going to go out with his brother them no more. You feel me? You saying all this going on. But she telling me at this moment, like, yeah, his brother did say that he suffered from bipolar disorder. And I'm looking at my mama like, so you done sent me out here with a crazy man, fool? <laughs> <laughs> like, you got me out here. I'm talking about, and this this the early 2000s, y'all. You feel me? So, it's like, we outside playing. We done walked to the store. We done walked outside the hood. We done walked to everybody's house. I'm, I'm taking this man on a, on a world tour around the hood, and you regret to tell me that this man got bipolar. I'm like, oh, nah, that's over with. I ain't, I ain't you know what I'm saying? Because it's one thing if... Somebody just emotional, but if you really just can't help it, nah, we be done really got into it one day and, and, and somebody got hurt. You know what I'm saying? So that was the last time I even seen Buddy. I don't I, I don't know if my mama ended up telling uh his brother and they got him on up out of there, but I don't remember ever seeing him in that hood again, you feel me? But but that was it though, you know what I'm saying? That was that was my story on the time a bipolar little boy pulled that thing out on me. You feel me? Crazy story. You know what I mean? It's, it could have it could have been tragic. We could have been one of them stories on the news where kid, where they say a kid was playing with a gun and one of them got hit and all this and all that. You feel me? It really be these stories really be deeper. You feel me? Because as a kid, you really think you got more control over your body or, or more control over the situation than you really have. You feel me? And that was one of them situations that could have really went bad. You feel what I'm saying? But, hey, look, man. Y'all like, share, subscribe. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. You know, have y'all ever had a crazy friend? Has your mama ever dropped you off to a crazy person's house? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have you ever hung with a guy that, was, that, was, that you know you probably shouldn't have hung with? You know what I mean? Y'all let me know in the comments. But, hey, look. Until next time, man. 100.